So this video is going out for my Retrobat subscribers. This is Xbox for Retrobat and how to get up and running. So earlier on today I uploaded a setup guide for a launch box. But Retrobat is a little bit different how this works. So in this tutorial I'm going to get you up and running. Show you which files you need for this through Retrobat. And also game file extensions and also making your games look as good as possible through video settings. So check this one out. Okay, first things first then, if you liked today's video, just hit notifications for me and subscribe so you get the Retrobat content as I upload it. And be sure to check out my Retrobat playlist. I have many setup guides for specific systems in there at this point. So first thing I'm going to do is just go into Retrobat. I'm going to right click on the shortcut, go to Open File Location. And from Open File Location, what I'm going to do is just go to Bat GUI system list now if you don't see what i'm about to pull down just here all these names of systems if you don't see this then you're likely missing a few installations so check out my setup guide on how to get retrobat fully up and running i'll leave a link in my description for that but anyways what we're going to do is just scroll down until we get to xbox and under Xbox, we can see extensions just here for our games are going to be XBE and .ISO. So the game I'm using is a .ISO image. I use a program called Quicks to extract and convert my disk into an ISO image in order to play and upscale it through emulation. So we know what that's running. What we need to do next then is actually go into Retrobat and we're going to download the emulator through this. So once we're inside Retrobat and that's opens, just navigate until you get to Retrobat folder. If you go inside here, we need to download Zemu just here. And I'm going to just open this up and we should get an install now. Uh, so press yes on this and let that install. And the first thing this is going to ask you to do is actually set up the emulator. So I've got some files on my desktop. So to do this, I'm going to just go to machine. And if I scroll down to system, from system, there's a few files there I need to put in place. And um, I've already done this, but I'm going to show you how this is done. So it's asking us for an MCPX boot ROM. So what I'm going to do is just going to go to the piece of paper here on the right. If I open this and locate where my file is to install, it's under my files folder. And here is my MCPX underscore 1.0.bin. So double left click on that and you'll see at the top application restart required to apply settings. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now. And the next one we need to put into place is the flash BIOS. And as we can see, I've already got this one in place, which is complex underscore 4627.bin. And this flash ROM BIOS, this is the best out there uh, for the compatibility that is. So again, just left click on this one and just put this one into place. So as we can see, I've got complex underscore 4627.bin, double left click. Now, if you was to install this as a standalone emulator, it would ask you for a hard disk image, uh, but not with Retrobat. So I'm going to just leave this one as it is. And if you see a blank space just there, and also under EEPROM, just leave those. These are the two just here that you need to put the files into place. So once that's done, what we're going to do is do as it says, application restart required to apply settings. So I'm going to just close out of here exit and that's all ready to go so let's just exit out of retrobat so quit so we actually need to put the game into retrobat now which is course vex if i just right click on my retrobat shortcut again open file location and under the roms folder we're going to find xbox and that's obviously located right at the bottom these are all in alphabetical order so xbox and just drag your iso image inside of here and that's about it but i'm going to show you video settings so let's just open up retrobat again and i'm going to get this looking as good as possible for you
Okay, so we're back to RetroBat, and as we can see, we now have Xbox up here. So we're going to go in there, and I'm going to just scrape some artwork for my game, Vex. So main menu, Scraper, and Scrape Now. And so once this is finished scraping, I'm going to just go to Game Settings and Update Game List. Sometimes it can take a few seconds. Here we go, Update Game List, yes. And here we go, so we have got a preview video as well as the artwork. So what I'm going to do is press select on my PlayStation controller and go to advanced system options, which you can find under the view options window. And emulator is going to be set to XMU as auto always goes to the next emulator or core next to auto. Game aspect ratio, I'm going to pop this one on to stretch for now and see how this works out. Internal resolution, just like most other cores and emulators, the further up you go with these, the more lag you're likely to go into experience. Personally, I find around three to four times on Xbox games, probably a good internal resolution setting to have. If you go over four to five times, you're likely going to suffer lag. And that goes to people out there who's got higher end gaming PCs. I don't think it really matters what your specs are. So I'm going to just go to say three times on this one. Now, vertical sync, we always want to put this one on for 3D games. Uh, this reduces screen tear. So always make sure that's on or, of course, leave it to auto because it's going to choose on anyway. And if we just scroll down a little bit further down to emulation, we're going to find memory. And I'll put this one to 128 megabytes. And that's it. We've also got option here to bypass the boot menu for Xbox, as it says. So if you want the more nostalgic experience of seeing that green X symbol flash before the game comes on, then by all means, just put yes. I'm going to put no for this so we can see the full thing. And let's back out of here. And again, and again, and let's open. And as we can see here, outstanding visuals for such an old game, even though I just fell off. And as we can see here, now I've bumped up the internal resolution and made a couple of other adjustments, the game looks fresh and brand new. So let's exit out of there. So we got our game up and running. We got some really nice visuals on this now. And like I said, with internal resolution, with Zemu, internal resolution is really going to boost up your visuals. Just be very careful. Like I say, past four times, I do find get games to get very choppy. I'm also going to take you over to the Zemu website. Uh, which is going to tell you which games are actually working with Zemu because not all games are going to work with this. They're not fully compatible yet. And link's going to be in my description. So this is the Zemu compatibility list. And I'm going to leave the link like I just said. But under here, we can see what's playable. 79% uh, of the Xbox catalog of games are actually here. And it says playable. They're not perfect, but they're playable. And... Sure enough, they're probably 95% playable in most cases, but they're going to have a few minor glitches. And of course, we got 3% perfect. So 
100% perfection. So this website is definitely worth taking a look at. So that's it for my retro bat in Zemu Xbox setup guide today. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you see today, just hit notifications. It will get you the latest retro bat videos that I upload and also subscribe so you don't miss out. I also cover different front ends, launch box, Batacera, and from time to time, RetroArch. I'm also on different social media platforms, so be sure to join me and also check out my new membership option. But until next time, stay retro. Mm -hmm.